Hello fellow plant enthusiasts. So in today's video, I'm going to give you guys the profile, care, and propagation of the Polonia pulchra. The Polonia pulchra is not the most commonly available plant in cultivation, but it is an interesting plant. These watermelon-shaped leaves give its rise to generic names like watermelon vine or watermelon begonia, even though it's neither a watermelon plant or a begonia, although it does have a vining habit. It's also known as Polynesian ivy, albeit it doesn't come from Polynesia, it comes from Southeast Asia from countries like Burma, Malaysia, and Vietnam. Now the genus Pelonia comes from the Latin word pelo, which means to strike or thrust, and the species Pultra is named after a French naval officer, Alphonse Pelio, who lived from 1795 to 1868. It's not the easiest plant to care for because it does like high humidity and can easily suffer under intense sunlight. So it you know, grows in the understory. And if you want to put it in sunlight, you can give it a little bit of sunlight, more, more so during the winter months, just to be safe. For soil, it likes equal parts of sand and peat moss. You want to keep it from drying out completely, but you don't want to leave it in standing water either. It likes constant moisture, similar to an African violet. Now you can give it the bright indirect sunlight, but uh, make sure you know it doesn't receive any direct sunlight as mentioned earlier, or slightly if that. Some websites recommend if any sunlight an east facing window. I have this on a west facing window, but not sitting directly against the window, but behind another plant. It likes a constant temperature ranging from 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 21 degrees Celsius up to 78 degrees Fahrenheit or 26 degrees Celsius, but it will survive in a range between 45 degrees Fahrenheit at the lowest or 17 degrees Celsius to no warmer than 95 degrees Fahrenheit or 35 degrees Celsius. It's great for terrariums due to the fact that it likes high humidity and it also looks nice in hanging baskets and it can get up to four to six inches tall. Now, as far as propagation goes, you want to take cuttings and plant them directly into a soil with high peat content. So you can directly propagate by putting cuttings into soil. It is not the safest plant to ingest, so it does have some toxicity. So if your plant, I mean, if your pet, dog or cat feels like chewing on them, you may want to place this somewhere where they can't get to it. But overall, this is a very interesting plant to have in your collection, and it will like to grow similar to a shingle vine as it tries to vine up wood. And um, it's worth a try if you want to tackle something that's not too challenging, but not extremely easy to grow. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.